I'm a visual learner and I bet that you are too. That's why you're on YouTube. I took my GoPro and I wore it as I installed solar panels to give you a point of view perspective of the installation process. I chopped down the footage so that I could pack in as much information as possible. If you are interested in doing a DIY solar panel installation, I'm going to link a couple companies below for different kits that you can purchase. So let's go ahead and get started. Up on the roof, make sure you're safe. I'm harnessing on for the installation. The first thing I wanna do is get the dimensions of the solar panels and then mark them out on the roof. You can use like a, some sidewalk chalk or a lumber crayon, but I'm gonna go three feet from the ridge and feet, three feet from the gable and then measure out the width of the solar panels across the array. It's nice if you have all four corners marked out in the top and bottom of all the solar panels so you can make sure that you get your attachments in the right places um, so once i have that done you'll see the top mark there the last panel I'll put a little corner there so i know i brought the rail up on the roof so that you can see you have two rails that go underneath each of the solar panels and they go about 7 to 14 inches from the top and bottom so I'm counting off three shingle lines up and three shingle lines down where those rails are going to sit underneath this row of solar panels. This is the tricky part, it's finding the rafters or the trusses under the array. I'm going to listen, knock with a hammer and then drill it and then take a chalk line and then snap a nice clean line all the way across the array. Once I have that, I'm going to measure to where the rafters should be. So generally they're 24 inches apart and I'm marking these at 48 um, for where the hardware is going to go. Once I have my mark, I'm gonna use my hammer to verify that there is a rafter under there and then pre-drill um, that rafter. Once I've drilled it, it's nice to kind of mark your hole to make sure that you never leave holes exposed on the roof and you're not flashing and caulking all of this. So when you miss a rafter, you'll feel it. You'll just pop right through and you can make an adjustment either to the left or the right and make sure that you get a good solid pre-drill into the, the rafter. So there's flashings, which I highly recommend you use. Those go underneath the shingle line. But most solar installs, they're doing these kind of flashless attachments where you're pre-drilling for the lag screw and then you're using some caulk to go all the way around the hole that you drilled and then driving that screw into the rafter like this one. You can see that the caulk's coming out the sides a little bit and that that's sealed off. They do also have directed deck attachments like this one where you're using sealant and then you're driving screws into the decking. Um, but I'm gonna recommend a, a uh, rafter attachment and flashed. Once you have all those attachments in, you're going to use some hardware, uh, some T-bolts um, to fasten the rails to your brackets that you just installed on the roof. I'm gonna go along and put all of these bolts in and then tighten them down so that they are level and square um, when the solar panels sit down. So you have a, a junction box, some transition into the attic, but I basically cut out some shingles on the roof, slid this under, sealed it, and drilled a hole so that I can transition from the PV wires on the roof and the trunk cable um, to wiring in the attic. So I'm using these in-phase microinverters. They have some attachments where the solar panels plug into the microinverters, and then you also have um, the trunk cable, and all the hardware for that. So I'm going to fasten the microinverters to the rail underneath where the solar panels are going to be, and then plug in the solar panels um, or all the microinverters together. I have this cable that I'm routing as I go, and then I'll go ahead and install these adapters for the solar panels. So the array needs to be grounded. So I'm using some bare copper, which goes to a grounding bar inside the junction box. And there's also a special bracket um, that goes to the rail and then um, go, goes to that copper grounding. I'm using some really high quality outdoor rated zip ties um, to fasten all of the uh, wires to the rail to make sure that nothing's touching the roof. 
Now for putting the panels on the roof, you have some hardware. These are some bolts that will clamp the solar panels to the rails. These ones kind of slide down and then are turn up to pinch the frame of the panels to that rail. I'll grab the first solar panel and then I'm going to plug in the PV connectors to the microinverters. Plugging the solar panels can be a little bit difficult doing it by yourself. Um, you need to make sure that these are seated all the way in. So I'm gonna lay this solar panel down, make sure that it is you know, on my marks, make sure it's flush with the, wet, the rails and then square on the roof and tighten it down. I'm gonna grab the next solar panel. These are like 50 pounds, they're pretty heavy. So they're, they're decently hard to get up a ladder and onto the roof. Um, I'm gonna set this one down, plug it in. A lot of guys like to wrap these wires together a little bit so they're easier to um, secure to the rail. But you can kind of pull them up. And then once you have the solar panel installed, check to see how they look under there and then use some nice cable ties to um, really tighten those wires um, to the rail so that they're not touching the roof they also make these nice little clips that you can put on the frame of the solar panel and those clips will actually clip onto the wires keep it from touching the roof so on the electrical portion of this, this installation, I highly recommend you have an electrician come out and tie the system in. Have them take a look at what you need to do for like a grid tied system or make sure your wire sizing and all that is done right. So I don't wanna to give too much advice on that, but I'm, I'm tying in the system to this junction box and from there I have a finished rooftop installation. I'm just finishing up the editing for this video. I just want to put out two cautions. First, make sure your roof doesn't leak. I showed a flashing in the video that I didn't end up using, but use flashings on your installation. Put some nice sealant underneath them and make sure it goes up and under the shingle line. The second is don't get hurt. For one, solar panels are heavy and it's really hard to carry them to the roof. I don't want anybody falling off the roof doing a DIY project. And for two, on the safety, electricity is really dangerous and you can't turn solar panels on and off. The sun's out, they're producing electricity. So you need to understand what type of solar panel system you're installing and make sure that an electrician is doing the electrical portion. Well, thank you for watching. I hope that this was helpful information. Please see the description below. I have links to different kits that you can buy. Um, the tools and material that was used on this job site and then subscribe like the video share it I appreciate any support that you give my brand and my channel I enjoy making these videos and I genuinely hope that it's good content and helpful for the viewers